Hello everyone, this is Beverly and welcome to my second podcast. For those of you who do not know me, I am a Filipino mom, Bisaya, and I have a Facebook page named Pinay Minimalist where I share my journey about minimalism. And so I thought about making a podcast as well. Maybe some of you out there would be interested to listen. So yeah, that's why we're here. And so for today, we are going to talk about why minimalism is not popular to Filipinos. I actually started minimalism year 2019. Oh no, 2020 when the COVID-19 pandemic happened. So most of the time, I was just at home. Kasi kakapangan ako lang. And then, um, naka-work from home lang din ako on the second quarter. So the clutter in our house pushed me to review my lifestyle and find a way to eliminate the excess stuff in our home that causes stress. Wala na stress lang talaga ako sa daming kalat sa bahay, daming gamit eh maliit lang naman yung house namin. So I said, this is not good. So sabi ko, kailangan may gawin ako. I then tried to scout articles and videos about minimalism and thought of applying the principles in my life. It was really challenging. It was a challenging journey as most minimalists are foreigners and only a few Filipinos practice this kind of lifestyle. So good thing I landed to a few Filipino vloggers naman that talks about minimalism in their videos. Kaya I slowly educated myself to the world of minimalism and realized bakit nga ba hindi siya popular sa mga Filipinos. So bakit nga ba? Well, most Filipinos are packrat. Ako dati packrat ako. So ano ba yung packrat? Ito yung tao who saves unnecessary objects or hoards things. So ayun, tayong mga Filipinos, we tend to keep and collect stuff thinking that we can still use them or it's not just right to throw them away. Lalo na ako, I came from a poor family so um, na-instill sa mind ko na kailangan pag-ingatan yung mga bagay um, kung pwedeng hindi itapon, hindi talaga itatapon kasi baka magamit pa in the future. Pero it turns out pala na hindi na siya nagagamit so it just adds to the clutter sa bahay. Ayun. So, old clothes, utensils, gadgets, and appliances that no longer work, and a lot more. So, kayo, ano ba yung oldest item na meron ka that you realize has no value na pala? Yung parang nagkakos lang siya ng stress sa'yo or inaalikabok na. Another one is Tayong mga Pilipino, sentimental. I think it's in our culture. So, paano ba tayo naging sentimental? Sabi nila, for where our treasure is, there our hearts will also. So, the, um, ito yung mga aspects that Filipinos treasure most. We treasure religion, our nation, our families, our friends, and our victories. As a result, we tend to hold on to memories and keepsakes. Kaya, we are regarded as sentimental or nostalgic. Hindi natin tinatapon yung mga bagay that reminds us of memories of important events in our lives or memories from our loved ones. Naalala ko nga, eh, I kept a tissue napkin, napkin from my first date. Oo, first boyfriend, first date. So, tinago ko talaga siya kasi in my mind, importante yon So, um, kailangan kong ma-preserve yung memory. So, even old notebooks, test papers, pens na hindi na sumusulat, and marami pang iba. So, it was in my room for so many years before I decided na itapon na sila. Also have this tendency to say no to gifts. Aminin mo, you find it difficult to turn down someone who offers you something. We always accept gifts with open arms. Tapos parang tabu siya to not accept presents, especially if they come from family and friends. We don't want to upset them. That's why even if we don't actually need the items, we still receive them. 
And we also have this tendency to not give away stuff that was gifted to us. Tama? Kasi bigay lang or bigay to ni someone na importante sa buhay natin kaya hindi natin to ipam- ipamimigay. Kasi ano na lang yung mararamdaman ng tao kapag nalaman niya na pinamigay mo yung binigay niya. Right? So kahit hindi mo naman talaga siya kailangan, itatago mo na lang. And lastly, tayong mga Filipinos, we go for the latest fashion and style trend. Most Filipinos tend to pick up latest trends and so we buy stuff that is famous at the moment even if we don't actually need it. If my friends have it, I gotta have it too. Sounds familiar ba? So, these are the few things I identified as reasons why minimalism is not popular to Filipinos. Although minimalism is gaining popularity now as as we advance to new normal way of living. Kaya excited din ako na makarinig ng mga kwento about Filipinos living a minimalist lifestyle. Less is more, ika nga. So, thank you everyone for listening to my second podcast. Once again, I am Beverly and hope you find this interesting. Have a good day!